Hello, I'm Zed Survivor. As you read the title, we did another arena event. This time, I turned the nursing home in Louisville into a battleground. I saw that adding great weapons and allowing any traits was too powerful, so I tried a different approach. This time, I added lower tiered loot, crates that are locked or need a code, and stashes. I used papers around the map to write down the codes and stash locations. This way, people had to think fast and solve riddles quickly to get good loot. In this event, we had duos. I dropped six pairs of hats and whoever had the same hat was teamed up with that person. I got footage from one of the winning pair and I also recorded using admin no clip and invisibility and uh, this is what happened. Uh, by the way, if you want to participate in one of these arenas, join the discord in the description because anyone is welcome, so I hope to see you there. I told everyone to stand in the middle and when I shoot, you're free to run and grab whatever you can. And I did. Everyone quickly disappeared, and fighting started almost immediately as people got whatever they could and started bashing each other's heads in. Some people got separated and were easy targets for people who weren't. Open the damn door! Stay back, stay back, stay back, stay back! Go, 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 go! If you were left alone, it was much harder to fight groups, and it was sad as well. No. The shower cap duo was the most coordinated one. They quickly went into the kitchen, chased someone out of it, and got some basic stuff. They kept looting all the rooms and found a stash location. But they quickly changed their minds as they spotted someone who could seriously hurt them. Whoever died was able to wait in the spawn location but not to join in again. They got bored later on and um, that spawn location? It became a brutal mosh pit. Our shower cap duo realized that there is not enough loot to the west anyway, so they moved and found their first code. I added multiple of them and they had to take their time, but they did open it and found a key for the north metal crate. Remember these crates at the spawn? Yes, for each one there was a key you could find with some special loot in them. With no further wait, they rushed to open it and shared the loot. They later kept moving south and found the rainbow room. In there was a stash in the walls. They found a clue and it was really easy to find it. Another duo before them tried to get in, but they gave up. So they covered each other and broke in. They got a double barrel shotgun. After that, they managed to kill a player with the shotgun, and as they were ready to kill another one, he rushed out, pushing the shotgun guy on the ground, but his teammate rushed in and saved him by bashing the poor guy's head with a base. I got you, homie! After that, they were ready to continue, but saw other two players with a gun. They quickly reacted by flanking instead of fighting them head on. This was very smart, as they later caught them off guard and murdered both of them. The ending kill was the most brutal. He shot the last guy with a shotgun, then used the spear, but the spear broke, so he had to shove him onto the ground and stomp him to death, giving a victory to the shower cap duo. As I said before, if you want to participate in one of these events, Join the Discord in the description. Anyone is welcome. Hope you enjoyed. Tell me what was your favorite part in the comments below, and I will see you all in my next video.